For your safety this morning, a St. John's County family says they never thought it would happen to them. Their 15 year old son nearly died when he fell getting off of a golf cart last month. He stepped off before it had completely stopped. His family is sharing his frightening ordeal with the hopes it will prevent the same thing from happening to anyone else's child. It was supposed to be a fun night out for Connor Gooding riding on a golf cart to a friend's house. Connor fell backward as he got off, hitting his head on the asphalt. Then that call no parent ever wants to receive. Connor's in the middle of the street, there's blood coming out of his ear. Uh, he's disoriented, not making a, a lot of sense. The 15 year old was airlifted to Wolfson Children's Hospital. After they had just done the CAT scan on him and he was puking blood, and then they're like, stay with us, Connor, stay with us, Connor. And uh, I think I kind of was freaking out. Connor had an epidural hematoma. He was bleeding under his skull, putting pressure on his brain, requiring an emergency craniotomy. It would be hours before they would know. I just didn't think that he was going to make it. And then he did. And then it was like, was it going to be Connor? You know, where was that going to be gone? And that was hard, too. And I didn't want to leave his side. And she didn't. Connor spent five days in the hospital. They had to put a steel plate in his skull. It loops all the way around from here and goes up, over, and then back up top here. He has a nasty scar now, but other than some yeah, lingering well, headaches, uh, he has no nice. brain damage. And his sense of humor oh, <laughs> appears uh, to be unchanged. Well, the week that I got back, I asked immediately if I can go ride in it again. Referring to his friend's golf cart. Friends who have a better understanding now of the risks. They tell their friends, like, I'm not driving unless, like, you buckle up. His but parents, like, too. He wasn't doing anything knowingly reckless. He just didn't understand that what he was doing could, could be as dangerous as it was. Um, and so I think that's the, that's the message, just, just with the golf cart, if you're out in the concrete, you'd be very careful because you can get seriously injured. Hey, Lee, go potty. The Goodings are just relieved they can still take walks with their son. It wasn't Connor's time. And uh, he's still our Connor, too, which is amazing because I've gone with him to all these rehab clinics and stuff, and then I see what could have been. And it just breaks my heart for the families that do have these injuries and then surviving them. You just got to take life as a gift and what you're given and uh, the uncertainty of being a kid or a mother at any second, that could be taken away. So realizing that the Goodings say had there been any delay in calling 911, their son likely would not have survived or would have had brain damage. Wilson Children's Hospital has seen a significant increase in the number of kids and teens injured locally on golf carts. In fact, its prevention coordinator says that children are twice as likely to be hurt on one as adults. To learn more about the risks of golf carts and other preventable injuries, look for a link inside this story posted right now on newsforjacks.com.